The government is supposed to look out for its citizens and create a non-destructive path towards a prosperous and safe future for all. However, there are those who believe that governments around the world are involved in shadowy dealings and hidden plans to look out for only themselves. And based on what the following conspiracies are, that's putting it mildly. Here are the 10 creepiest government conspiracies. Number 10 is the Satan Initiative. Conspiracy theorists often argue that governments are actually working together to create one global organization with ultimate control over humanity. This one world government has been linked to alleged power groups like the Illuminati and the Knights Templar. But others believe their ultimate purpose is a satanic one. By bringing the world under one earthly government and by using modern technologies to continually monitor the population, these groups may deliberately be preparing for the arrival of the Antichrist. One major argument for this conspiracy theory is that governments want to use technology based on simple barcode to identify every human being. Some have suggested that the mathematics used to create the technology revolve around a number associated with the devil himself, 666. Number 9 is Population Sedation. Another very common government conspiracy theory is that the government wants to control the population in one very specific way. It involves sedating the population so that it's docile. This is a tricky thing to achieve. Sedate your population too much and they no longer go to work and make money. Sedate the people too little and they rage against the machine and try to overthrow their masters. Some believe that one way the government has been able to strike this balance is by putting fluoride in our drinking water. That way they can make sure that most people are exposed to the sedation and they can ensure that there isn't too much in the system. And then there's the slowly legalization of drugs that were once considered illegal. Any of these methods would mean that we are all unwitting slaves to our unseen masters. Number 8 are Reptilian Masters. Who controls the world? That's a question many conspiracy theorists ask themselves. There are various answers given, but one is linked to the Earth's deep history. It's been alleged that we are not the first technologically advanced civilization to develop on Earth. That there was an earlier species which for some reason remains out of sight. Those who have encountered these creatures insist that they are reptilian humanoids who have the technology to shapeshift and appear human. They use this power to infiltrate and control the governments of the world for their own shadowy ends. What those goals are exactly, no one knows. However, it's been speculated that they experienced a cataclysm in their history and are few in number so they must control humanity discreetly rather than with brute force. Number 7 are Deep Fakes. The development of deep fake technology has been fascinating to watch. However, in the wrong hands, it can be devastating. Deep fake technologies involve using computer learning to alter videos, photos, and even voice recordings so that they are indistinguishable from the real thing. While this technology is new to the public, there are those who believe that governments have possessed these technologies for some time. The unsettling conclusion from this perspective is that the video, audio, and images from around the world have been doctored for decades. This means that our entire understanding of recent history could be wrong. Government organizations could have been creating believable fakes to persuade the world that some people are evil when they are not, and vice versa. Number six is climate weaponization. If controlling our images isn't frightening enough, how about the climate? One conspiracy theory suggests that governments are altering the climate around us for their own ends. For example, by making a region uninhabitable due to storm activity, this could destroy a region's industrial capabilities. Another example would be creating unprecedented snowfall in order to hurt an enemy state's economy. For conspiracy theorists, the US government themselves have been implicated in weather manipulation. Their technique involves rupturing an atmosphere with microwaves. 
By doing this at a chosen angle, the waves are then deflected back down into the atmosphere to create weather changes at a chosen target. This could mean that the next world war isn't fought using missiles, but rather huge violent weather patterns instead. Number five is the facade. Fake it until you make it. We've heard that advice before. One conspiracy theory suggests that those in control have stumbled upon a shocking truth, that the world is doomed and cannot currently be saved. Whether this is due to climate change or an ever-expanding human population, this theory states that those in power are simply keeping up pretenses until either a solution is found or humanity meets its final fate. In the meantime, we are kept distracted with movies, TV shows, and living a 9 to 5 existence. All the while, the world's governments are desperately searching for a way to save us all. And so far, all that they've discovered is that the world will end sooner than later. Number four is elite ritual indoctrination. Several conspiracy theorists speculate that governments and their commitment to representing the general public are shallow deceptions. In reality, they are populated by people who are members of the same cult group. This group crosses all borders and affects government policy around the world. Meetings between elite bankers and politicians, such as the Bilderberg Group and the ritual seen at Bohemian Grove, are put forward as evidence for this cult's existence. Those seeking power and success are often indoctrinated into this cult which means that they're there to serve the larger group rather than their country of birth or political party. Keeping this affiliation hidden, they then subtly manipulate policy decisions to ensure that the cult survives and prospers from one generation to the next, an ongoing cycle of evil. Number three is information control. How do you control the world? You can do it with money, you can do it with military might, you even can do it by creating false flag operations. Another way, however, is to blackmail those with influence. This government conspiracy theory suggests that elite influencers, artists, and politicians are kept in line through an elaborate process of blackmail and manipulation. There are a number of ways to do this, including deep fakes mentioned earlier. Perhaps the most effective way to covertly spy on people and to find their deepest, darkest secrets is this method. This information can be used by governments as leverage so that influencers promote certain ideas to the public. In turn, the public then adopts these ideas. It's sophisticated control and all done through the public figures and artists that we trust the most. Number two is the vote illusion. Belief that votes determine outcomes is central to any democracy and its stability. However, one government conspiracy theory states that none of our votes count at all. This great vote illusion has been assembled through hundreds of years of careful manipulation. Each time a presidential candidate is put forward, they are in fact a stooge for elites who control the government in reality. Votes are counted, but it doesn't matter who wins, because all candidates are controlled by these shadowy groups. In the event that a wild card might make it through, the government then simply discounts the votes and creates the illusion of a win for their chosen candidate. If this turned out to be true, then democracy is simply another tool through which we are all controlled by those who wield power unscrupulously. And number one are sleeper agents among us. Human beings are social animals. We thrive on the connections we have with each other, whether they are at work, at home, or online. Each of us builds a circle of trust throughout our lives. But what if I told you that some of these people may not be what they seem? In one shocking conspiracy theory, governments have developed conditioning and brainwashing techniques not just to control, but consume. We all know about famous mind control experiments like MKUltra, but some believe that normal people around us have been turned into elaborate sleeper agents. Our loved ones may have been conditioned from afar through new technology and subliminal messaging to believe certain things and act in a certain way. One day they may even be activated to carry out a terrible act. The only question that remains is, are you a sleeper agent too and just don't know it? <laughs>
But as always, thank you so much for watching, for liking this video, and of course for subscribing to my channel. And a very special thank you to all of my channel members, especially the names you see on your screen right now. All of you help keep my channel going. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.